What is going on guys? It's Will Kelly with Military Long Cuts where we've done $600,000 in annual sales and we are in hopes of opening uh, two locations in the next 12 to 24 months. And in today's video, we are going to be doing a mulch job. So one of the great benefits is I get to spend some of my day with my lovely, beautiful wifey in the business. So uh, that's the best part about owning our business is to spend extra time with her and so that's what we're gonna be doing we're gonna think we got to go to the gas station get some gas we're gonna go to Walmart get some mulch and we are gonna show you guys how we do a mulch job and bed de weeding stay tuned Let's start loading up this mulch into this bed. This is why we come to Walmart to buy our mulch, guys. Look at this. $2.74. Let's go. Alrighty guys, so we are gonna be taking all of this mulch right here. There are 25 bags that we just picked up. We're gonna be putting it around this tree ring. We're gonna be putting it on this flower bed. We're gonna also be cleaning up all of these weeds that are in the flower beds here. Um, and then we're gonna be cleaning up the weeds over here as well as putting more mulch in. So this is going to look like a new flower bed when we are finished with it. I'll show you guys some uh, Updates along the way. You can do the same thing here. Got a nice big uh, thistle weed coming in. Look at the spikes on that thing. All right. And then um, we do do weed control in this property too. So if you look right down here, there's some King Ranch blue stem coming in, which is a very, very difficult weed to treat. When we were here two, three weeks ago, that was not on the property. So um, definitely looking out for that. Also, we've got some Dallas grass coming in here. As you can see, another very, very tough weed to get rid of, but we will keep you guys updated along the way and uh, let's get to it. Alrighty guys, so we got all the bags out of the truck, out onto the flower bed. So basically what we do here is we space them out every maybe two or three feet. And we just kind of lay them down and then we'll go through and actually start tearing the bags open, dumping them, leveling it out, just like Larissa's doing here. She's doing a fantastic job. She quoted this property, 25 bags of mulch, and that is exactly 25 bags. Great job, wifey. All right, so let's go over here. As you can see, the tree rings got some new mulch around them, and we're still going to have to do this one. So, um, all in all, I'm curious. 
I want you guys to guess how many hours, budget hours, do you think that we quoted for this job? That includes the pickup of material, the delivery, the installation, and uh, before that, pulling the weeds, and then obviously installing the mulch. So in the comments below, leave a comment, and uh, maybe we'll do something for the winner of who can guess the exact amount of budget hours that we quoted for this job. Just wrapping on up here. Got a couple disposal bags. Got to get our equipment. Definitely got to do a last minute equipment check. But guys, this is it. Just finished up our mulch job. Everything is looking good. We're about to do a walkthrough with the customer. It's very important to make sure that they are satisfied. So let's get after it. Alrighty guys, so we just got back from the mulch installation and I already know what you guys are thinking. Why do you use bag mulch instead of bulk mulch? And I'll tell you, we've done both and using the bags is a lot cleaner. If you don't use as much, you just put them back in the truck and take them to the next piece of property. If you found value and you thought this was a cool video, let me know in the comments below if you like this kind of daily vlog stuff. If not, it's cool, smash the like button and we'll see you guys next time.